tips that you can do at home around uh, creating flow and calm in your lives and sort of dealing with some of those intense emotions or the lack of focus that you may be feeling at this time. So I'll start by asking Paula a bunch of questions and then at the end, uh, she is gonna show us how to use this amazing herb called mugwort through a process called moxibustion. Is that what it's called, Paula? Yep, yep. Okay, great. So Paula, a lot of clients are ruminating about the what ifs. They're going down a virtual rabbit hole and they're kind of getting stuck there in this swirl of overthinking and um, sort of never ending thought. How would you support them in calming their minds? Mm -hmm. Well, in Chinese medicine, the liver is the one that processes all the emotions. So when that, when that process is not in flow, it creates stagnation. When there's stagnation, we get these ruminating thoughts, we get kind of stuck in our head or in an emotion, and we can't kind of get our way out. So for pe if people were to come in and saying, I just can't stop overthinking and worrying, then I would say, I would suggest that they do something to create movement. This could be as simple as cleaning the floor really well and consciously. It can be planting a garden for the new vegetables to come up, this new energy. Um, this could be moving furniture within the house, uh, could be dusting. All these things will create movement within our space, but also within ourselves. And that will open up opportunity for the energy to go somewhere else so mm -hmm. that you can get out of the mind and kind of I be on your way. That. Okay, mm -hmm. so if I rearrange my bookshelf, I'll be sort of creating something new to look at. So stimulating for me, but also physically moving things to change the energy in the space. Yes, exactly. exactly. Okay. Great. Um, so when people are quarantined like they are right now, they can develop a lot of symptoms that look like post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. And some of the um, common symptoms are sort of these very intense emotions, a lot of reactivity, and mm -hmm. a, there's a lot of anger associated with that. Is uh, there any way that you can support people in addressing this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been common with the people that I've been seeing in my office during this time. Mm -hmm. And um, so in Chinese medicine, the heart is the, what houses the mind. Mm -hmm. And so it's about, so in Chinese medicine, we have 15 meridians. Meridians are energy pathways that we work with where we insert the needles, but they're where the points lie, the acupuncture points. So I'm giving everyone uh, the do-it-yourself acupressure and uh, it's on the heart channel and these points specifically help calm the the mind and they help calm the nervous system so the heart channel runs from the armpit all the way in um, the inside of the arm to the pinky mm -hmm. but in this little section right here mm -hmm. between the wrist and kind of the, the mm -hmm. arm yeah there's a tendon there mm -hmm. so if you lightly pinch that tendon let's see there we go just kind of pulling at the skin a little bit? Just pulling at the skin. You can, like, I already feel it in my feet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You feel that? I do. I just, it's just, it's, I wonder, it just feels like I'm drawing the attention in and that, and that there's something calming about that. Exactly. Exactly. It's almost like I just took a deep breath. Yeah. Yeah. So I would suggest doing that. And you can do that anytime. Yeah, right. <laughs> Acupuncture on the fly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so other clients are reporting that they're feeling their ADHD and overdrive. Uh, this is one that I particularly am feeling a lot myself. Um, you know, they're starting one project here, another project there, and then they end up not completing their projects. They've got a lot going on in their homes but um, they don't really know what to do with themselves. They even like are wandering around sort of aimlessly in their houses. Um, how do you sort of support people in bringing more focus and more clarity into their lives? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand this one for sure. So um, all those things are, the energy is going up. We're thinking, we're kind of breathing shallow up top here. In Chinese medicine, of course, the the lungs and the kidney are the two organs that are involved in breathing. So the lungs get the breath and they send it down and the kidneys grab it and bring it to the ground. 
but we're we're all scared. We're we're unsure. We're we're not we're not in our normal comfortable life, right? And so doing things that help the energy go down would be ideal. So this would be going and standing, walking around on the grass barefoot. This would be going to the beach and putting your feet in the sand. Mm -hmm. This could be soaking your feet in Epsom salt, uh, just your feet only with maybe some essential oils. Basically anything to connect more, going outside, all of those things. So I'm thinking a dance party barefoot in the backyard. Yes, yes, <laughs> that would move a lot of energy, be perfect. <laughs> okay, so some of my clients are actually feeling the opposite. They're feeling lethargic, um, unmotivated, they're staying in their pajamas, um, and they just, you know, they're just not feeling up to doing a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And they're quite concerned because this is also sort of new for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so with all of my patients, I tell them that the body loves routine. So if you go to bed at the same time, you wake up at the same time, you have breakfast, lunch, dinner at the same time, the body loves that because it knows what's going to happen and when. Mm. So it doesn't have to second guess, like, is, is she going to eat or not? So I would suggest that you get on a schedule. This means wake up, take a shower or exercise, do certain things Monday through Friday as if you are going to work because then the body will recognize, okay, right, now we're in work mode. If you're in the, your PJs all day, it's kind of like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just relax. And that energy gets heavy. Right, right. So that routine will actually help trigger the body and trick the mind into sort of getting go getting up and going because exactly. the body's used to it and that's what it knows how to do yep yeah and, and also working in bed same mm -hmm. thing the body's like wait but this is where i sleep yeah yeah and so getting up and moving to wherever setting up a station okay <laughs> wonderful so the other thing that people are really feeling right now is a sense of powerlessness and insecurity um, and this is on so many levels, you know, whether it's just with themselves, their career, their job, uh, their mm -hmm. business, uh, all the way out sort of to the greater world in general. Mm -hmm. How do you help create people feel more powerful and less insecure, more secure? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, by watching this, doing things like watching this video, um, doing these little, these techniques, they might seem small, but it's really a big deal because it tells our body, like, I care about you. I'm doing something for you mm -hmm. and, and that I matter. Mm -hmm. And so um, I would find the things that help you feel, the, feel good. Um, and one of the things that makes me feel good and a lot of my patients is what you mentioned earlier, uh, which is moxibustion. Yes. So moxibustion, exactly. Um, so moxibustion can be done at home. They've created these little stick-ons that Ruth is, has there. Yeah, exactly. And so um, within this, this little, what's rolled in there is uh, mugwort. Mm -hmm. And this herb is the de deepest penetrating herb in the Chinese pharmacopoeia. So you can treat your whole body. This could be insomnia. This could be digestive issues. This could be um, wanting to support your immune system or ground this little thing can, has lots of power. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some points, uh, a point that I use for the immune system. Mm -hmm. So you'll take this little stick on. Um, and actually, let me show you the point first. So you'll put your arm up with your thumb facing towards the ceiling. And along this ridge here, you can just move your finger gently and lightly. And as you get towards the elbow, there's kind of like a hole there. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. It, yeah there's yeah. a space there's like a dip there so that is an acupuncture point for the immune system okay so you can take this and light it okay i'm gonna have to reach down for my lighter here there we go so you just want to get it till you see the the mm -hmm. cherry there at the top and go ahead and slide your finger again and once you find that point, you just stick this on and you'll let it burn. It'll take about a minute, um, maybe two. You'll let it burn down once you have, once it feels warm, then you'll take it off. But by this, 
you are strengthening your immune system. How does it feel? Do you feel? A, a, I do feel it. I do feel it. So yeah. by strengthening our immune system and by doing this, this, this sense of sort of caring for self and, and more security and feeling a little bit more grounded in our own power that it, it'll support all of that. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it smells so good. I just love yeah. the smell. It's yeah. very earthy. Yes. There's different forms of moxa and some of them are stronger. This is a very mild form. Mm -hmm. So most people can tolerate this, but there's other, there's moxa sticks that are really strong that some people don't like. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and so if people want this, they can order it from you. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. And I can address, um, as I mentioned, many different um, ailments that could be happening. Uh, anxiety, insomnia, like I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And so I can show you different points that you can do and I can get these for you and it's, it's very simple. Great. Well, thank you so much, Paula. This has been so wonderful and I can't wait to try out some of these things in my own um, home and my own life. Mm -hmm. I hope this has been helpful for anyone who's been watching this video. Again, my name is Ruth Grumbar. I'm a psychotherapist in San Francisco. If you are having a mental health emergency, please dial 911. If you need general support, you can come to my website at welltherapysf, as in San Francisco, .com, and you can learn more about me. I also have a ton of resources, uh, depending on what your needs might be, that are listed there. Cool. Thank you so much, Ruth. This was really fun. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you all might have. Um, you can find me at pointoflifeacupuncture.com. And if you want to just check in to see if acupuncture or techniques that you can do at home is for you, I'm, feel free to reach out. I'm here. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you, Paula. Yeah, Bye. thank you.